fire pits are nice, but they can be ashy, smoky messes after a few ragers. So isn't it about time someone reinvented the fire pit? I'm Erin from TechGadgetsCanada.com and enter BioLite, the makers of a vast array of camping and outdoor gear that's also tech enabled. They've recently released their new BioLite fire pit here and I had a chance to get hands on with it for a few days of camping and yard use. I'll tell you what I learned about it, but an early heads up that if you end up liking this video and you find it helpful, please hit that like button and consider subscribing since it does help me afford things like kindling and charcoal for the grill. Don't forget to follow the Facebook page too for quick and easy tech and gadget updates. What is the BioLite Fire Pit and what can it do? This compact, portable metal box has collapsible legs so you can pack it down. Weighing about 20 pounds, you wouldn't want to bring it on a hike, but it is perfect for your trunk or a day at the beach, campsite, or picnic area. BioLite Fire Pit has a removable grill top so you can cook on it or just use it to have a small but roaring fire. You can burn either wood or charcoal in the BioLite Fire Pit depending on your needs and what's available. Of course, the BioLite Fire Pit has technology built in. On the side is a large 10,400 milliamp hour battery pack, which also houses a fan. This fan can stoke up your flames when needed. The fan can be controlled by the buttons on the module or by connecting the power pack via your phone using Bluetooth so you can make small incremental adjustments to the fire right from your phone, keeping it perfectly in control. When your phone starts to die, you can connect it to the power pack and recharge it right on board. If you're familiar with BioLite's other gadgets, like the BioLite camp stove here, you might be hoping that the energy generated by the fire can recharge your power pack. Not this time. To keep this power pack full, you're gonna to need to bring it into the house and plug it in to recharge. Or you can get the optional solar carrying case. It costs about an extra $60, and that's still going to take four or five days to recharge it. So for me, it's not something that I would advise. BioLite's 10,400 milliamp hour battery pack has enough juice to charge your devices or to keep the fire running for about 24 hours. So what's inside the box? You'll get the fire pit, of course, which you will need to attach the handles to. You'll also get that battery pack and fan unit, plus two racks, one for fuel and the other for grilling. There's also a charging cord and a rain cover. Let's take a look at some of the features of the BioLite fire pit. Want to see flickering flames and dancing embers while you're gathered round? The BioLite fire pit has 360 degree fire viewing via what's called X-ray mesh. And it basically means you can see through the firebox on all sides. That also That's lets right. heat escape to warm you up on cool nights too. And I can definitely attest to the fact that it emits a good amount of warmth. You can also cook over the fire pit and the included sliding grill makes it really easy. Underneath the grill rack, you can use the fuel rack. You can leave it in or remove it depending on how you want to use the fire pit. Put it in and put something like charcoal on the rack for a nice hot sear, or keep it out and build a wood fire in the bottom of the fire pit for warmth. Hear that? That's the built-in fan. You can adjust the fan's airflow to fuel the fire or ramp it up if it starts to wane and smolder. This optimizes the burn for more heat and flame and less smoke. There are 51 air jets injecting the fire with oxygen at key locations, and this creates a more uniform temperature and a more even fire, meaning no crazy hot spots. I found we did get quite an even burn all across the surface, particularly when using charcoal to grill some food. Now, if anything, I found it was hard to get the right adjustments from the fan, particularly when we were cooking over it. Too low and the fire became too smoky, too high and it burned the fuel too fast. It was a bit of a dance keeping the fire at an optimum level. Now, cooking over fire is finicky at the best of times, so despite all the great features of this gadget, you still do need to manage your cook. We took the fire pit on a long weekend excursion with friends and cooked chicken, sausages, steaks, and hot dogs. The chicken was a challenge and took a bit of a long time to cook, but that's probably because I was still learning how to manage the heat and the fuel. As an aside, you want to get the right amount of fuel into the fire pit if you're using the grilling rack. While the grill top does slide open to give you access to the fire chamber, you won't easily be able to get at the area below the fuel rack. And even moving that fuel rack is hard because the handles are actually inside the firebox here. You definitely need something like fireproof gloves. The bottom line here, cooking over the fire pit is just like grilling on a barbecue or a hibachi. You still need to work at it. Now, just because this gadget has a bit of technology built in, 
don't expect instant miracles. In all honesty, while I love me some tech, it does feel a bit redundant to control the fan on your smartphone, particularly when the buttons are right here. It's not as though I'm getting some kind of burn report from having my phone hooked up to it, but it will tell you how much time is left on the power pad. It's a novelty, sure, and can definitely act as a remote control if you are bundled up and don't want to get up to stoke the fire, but I think it's pretty unnecessary. The fire pit does have a trap door at the bottom you can use to clean out ash and coals. And I will say that after the first use, it's not going to be pristine anymore. It is fire after all, but you can keep it reasonably clean with a barbecue brush and some basic scrubbing. Also worth pointing out that power pack is removable so you can bring it indoors for recharging. Overall, I'd say the pros are that this is a pretty clean burning fire. The small size means you don't need a huge barbecue grill, and the fan does definitely help keep the fire going or get it started. Now, when it comes to the cons, this device is not truly very compact. The legs fold down, yes, but that's about it. The fire also doesn't recharge the battery pack like on the BioLight camp stove, and you kind of do need a carrying case for it to avoid getting soot everywhere. And as I mentioned before, that solar case does come in at about 60 US dollars. Now, I've really been enjoying the fire pit experience. It is cleaner, it's less smoky, and it's more portable than anything else out there. But it is definitely a challenge to cook over it, and it does require some practice and finesse. It's also not as portable as it seems, definitely not as portable as BioLite's camp stove, for example. It doesn't collapse or fold flat, but if you are looking for a versatile gadget that can keep you warm on a cool night at the campsite, or cook your food, or do both, and that has a bit of tech built in, you're definitely going to like this. The BioLite Fire Pit sells for about 200 US dollars from BioLite's website. If you want to read more about it, head over to techgadgetscanada.com where I've posted a full blog and write-up. And of course, you can post any questions you have for me about it either there on the blog or as always here on the YouTube channel. If you like this video, please hit that like button and consider subscribing since it does help me keep making more videos that I hope everyone out there can watch, enjoy, and learn from. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Erin. You can catch me on Twitter or Instagram until the next time at ErinLYYC. You can also find me at facebook.com slash techgadgetscanada.